but today I want to talk to you about hot water pressure washer versus a cold water pressure washer. So, what is the purpose of a hot water? Do I need a hot water pressure washer? Might be some questions asked. So, what we do is um, we use um, chemicals to clean. So, do we need hot water? No, we don't hardly ever use hot water. But I'm going to tell you why you might need to use hot water. And, you know, if you're just starting out and you're like, man, should I spend $6,000 for a pressure washer? Or can I get in at 3000 on the high end of, of, a, of an eight gallon a minute at $3,500, $3,600? Or I can even get in at four under 1000 if I go with a four gallon a minute? So I'm going to kind of talk what the pros and cons are. So let's start out with this one here. The eight gallon a minute cold water, or even if it's not cold water, even if it's not eight gallon a minute, four gallon a minute, five and a point five gallon a minute, eight gallon a minute. So there was a year that we didn't have even hot water. Um, I had it when I first started out, I had an old Londa that I bought and it kind of went food bar. And there was one year that we didn't even have hot water. And we don't you know, so let's go over what we need hot water for, and then I'll go over how we can just do it without using hot water. What do we need hot water for? So there's a couple things we use hot water for. The first thing we use hot water for is um, oil. If you have oil in a driveway and it's deep-seated oil, you kind of need hot, um, you need hot water. And the reason why you need the hot water is, is you need that to release that oil from that concrete. Is it going to get it all the way up? Probably not. Um, is there chemicals we can use with a cold water? Yeah, there is. Um, the other thing we can use, you need hot water for, is chewing gum, to pop gum. Can you do it with cold water? It's almost impossible to do it with cold water. Hot water, you're basically melting that gum. And it's, pop, and it's releasing that gum. So gum is really the one thing with cold water we cannot do. Now, if you're not doing a lot of flat work of doing oil and doing gum, you don't have to worry about it. Can you get gum up with cold water? Eh, yeah, you red tip it, it'll come up eventually. That and the concrete and everything else, but it'll come up. So the reason why we went to hot water is um, one, we got a really excellent deal on these hot waters. We bought them used, and we paid um, thirty, I think three grand or thirty-five hundred dollars a piece. But reason why we use hot water is this one right reason right here. So when we are selling pressure washing, we sell packages, and in that package, our second package is warm water, and we sell it as an upsell. We sell it for $50 to turn a switch on, turn our heat all the way down, because if we go high, it'll melt the cell lighting. Turn our heat all the way down to 100 degrees, and now we are selling $50, maybe even $75, $50 without doing nothing. Nothing special. Make sure there's diesel in the tank, and make sure you hit the switch. 50 bucks. So, and then there's one other time that we use it for. And that is when the weather gets cold. If, so we can go out in 35 degree weather and do a house wash and turn that on and warm up our water and warm up our chemical and warm up that siding so it will kill the mold on the siding or clean the molding on the siding, mildew, whatever you want to call it. So that is why we use hot water. So do I need a hot water or can I start out with a cold water? you can absolutely start out with cold water. Um, a cold water unit is a little bit cheaper. Actually, it's a lot cheaper. You can, get, like I said, you can get a four gallon a minute for under $1,000. You can't get a hot water for under about six grand. Now, can you get a hot water with a hot box and a whole lot of, yeah, and you're about four to $5,000. But an all-inclusive unit is about six grand. May, you might find one for 5,500, but you're looking at about $6,000. Cold 
cold water we used it had two trucks all we used was cold water cold water works fine we never had a problem with it um, the only issues you might have is when the temperature starts to drop you may have to use more of your sodium hypochloride bleach aka bleach also known as bleach you may have to pull it up or pool shock or whatever you want to call it and you may have to warm you know go straight that to get it to kill the stuff that where we can go still 50 50 and be warm our temperature up and it'll still work fine um, so uh, cold water you can clean houses all day long with just cold water um, so that's the difference between hot and cold the biggest difference we use hot for is it's an upsell we sell it as a upsell I mean we make fifty dollars a house wash you know probably only 33 percent of the people are going to pick that bottom package so again that's the importance of packages you know even if you did three packages say you did cold water hot water or cold water warm water and window cleaning window cleaning costs you about a thousand bucks fifteen hundred dollars and you can do exterior window cleaning do exterior window cleaning only that's what we did forever and we make a killing off of it um, and it don't cost you nothing once you get the system in place um, so I hope that helps you out and if you would like to learn about Christmas lights check out this video if you like to learn about pressure washing check out that video thank you and have a great day